Good morning, Shepherd. I'm Caroline Crick. And I'm Emily Hutchinson. Today is Tuesday, January 17th. It's a D-Day. Today is National Ditch Your New Year's Resolution Day and Kid Inventors Day. Happy birthday to freshman Sophia Jodry. Today's menu in the Prentice Robinson Cafeteria is chicken tenders, steamed carrots, french fries, roasted vegetables, and breaded mozzarella cheese sticks. Here's today's weather. And speaking of the weather, last Thursday proved to be a unique day at the Academy. Ms. Donna K. McGoldrick is Stratford's Chief Operating Officer in Security Weather and Fire Drills. We asked her about the unusual day when there was a fire alarm and weather shelter in place alarm on the same day, and neither was a drill. Here's a report. I'm Piper Bushway here with Chief Officer Donna K. McGoldrick, who's in charge of school security. We had a tornado alarm and a fire alarm on the same day. Has that ever happened before? Well, I've been here 17 years and it has not happened during that time. It was a very unusual day for sure. Do you think we were prepared for it? I think in some way, mostly yes, we were prepared. There were some things that um, we realized we need to improve upon. Um, it goes, uh, it shows us that a drill is really easy because everyone knows they're thinking clearly and everyone knows exactly what to do and if you don't then we, we can work with it. When it is the actual event, people start panicking. You're not necessarily in the place where you normally would be and you have to think about where to go, what to do. And in, in those situations, it gets hard when you're in the heat of the moment, it gets hard to you know, think about what you're supposed to do. I know that um, drills are not the most fun thing to do. Um, I know it interferes with class time and um, you know, that it's aggravating for students and teachers, but I think yesterday um, proved to us how important these drills are. We're required to have one per month and we need to take them seriously. And um, the other thing we discovered yesterday, I will say, is noise um, directly conflicts with being able to hear over the, over the speakers. And so when we tell students how important it is to be quiet during an emergency, whether it's a drill or an actual emergency, that's why. It's because teachers need to be able to hear what's being said over the intercom, and y'all need to be able to hear what's being said over the intercom. And yesterday, that was not possible in some areas because there was too much noise, so we've got to work on that. Poetry Out Loud will take place in the auditorium on Wednesday and Thursday at break. There will be eight to ten competitors across grade levels, and each student must recite a poem from memory on the stage. Judges will be looking for both accuracy and interpretation of the text. The winner will head to regionals in McRae in February and hopefully to the state competition at the Alliance Theater in Atlanta in March. Students going on the trip to France during spring break are invited to attend a lunch meeting on Wednesday, January 18th in Ms. Wongren's room. For more information, see Mr. W. The Key Club Blood Drive will be held on Friday, January 27th in the Derogi Room in the Science Building. You must be at least 16 years old to donate and if you are 16, you must have a parental consent. Have a wonderful day, Eagles!